one contestants all here at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center, all hoping to wear the Miss South Carolina 2015 crown. What does it mean? A year's worth of work, meeting about everybody in the entire world. But post-crown, we can call it PC, I guess, what happens? Well, you wear the crown forever. In some, some cases, you write a book. The front nine, Miss Sherry Thrift Bradshaw. That's right. Relation to Carrie? No, sorry. None at all? None. Love of shoes, is that the same? I have a small foot, so probably not hard to find. <laughs> well, you're prettier than she is anyway, oh, I'm just you. saying. Thank you. So, you were Miss South Carolina in 1985. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Like, just a few years ago. <laughs> a minute or two, as the kids say. Yeah, thank you. So, do you remember in your <clears throat> 20 or so years mm -hmm. since that night, and where was the uh, where was the pageant in 85? It was in Greenville, South Carolina, okay. at the Memorial Auditorium, which no longer is the Bilo Center. The Bilo yep, Center. Yep, All right, yep. so it's 1985. You're on stage. You're down to the top five, I guess. That's probably. right. Top that's right. five. And they say Sherry Thrift. It was extreme gratitude right. and relief because, you know, you work hard to get sure. there. And just, it's a little disbelief that I really heard my name and you're pinching yourself <laughs> and saying, it really happened. It really happened. Sure. And, uh, but it was gratitude, extreme gratitude. I love the interview portion mm -hmm. of the pageant system because my daughter's facing to graduate from college and she's going to go through the interview process. Sure. And it gives young women a chance to really define or, or examine who they are, what they believe, and to go in to a judge interview and refine their skills, it, it's an opportunity for young women to develop. And I love that. You know, I tell girls all the time when I travel and speak, especially in the pageant venue, that you may not be on stage the rest of your life, but you could potentially be in the spotlight because of the job title. You're always in the South Carolina, and you need to value and live your life based on the fact that you'll always carry that title, even though it's a PC a pa or a past crown. I, you know, I was right, I think, when I said that. Yes, I made it that was. up and yes, I was right. Are. That was good. That's a good thing. That's a guy thing. <laughs> All right, go on. <laughs> yeah. I just got pounds from Miss South Carolina, 85, y'all. Yeah, you baby. You saw that, right? How have you seen the whole system grow in the last 20 years? Well, more participants. Right. I love social media, more awareness. I think the pageant, you know, you're you can get the word out and more people sure. recognize that it's an opportunity for women to compete and not just compete it's not just a pretty face or a pretty body right, i mean right. you've got to know your have convictions and know why you believe what you believe it's not about when you walk in a room here i am it's there you are and they have to embrace that idea because you're a public relations person and it's about the other person there we are. Miss Sherry Thrift in 85, Bradshaw. Here, here's the, I'm going to do the, the Jay Leno, Johnny Carson thing. Here's the book here, guys. It's called The First Nine. Her second book is coming out. And this right, <laughs> and it's the back nine. There you go, the back nine. <laughs> guys, this morning we're learning this, one of the steps, or one of the several steps it takes to become Miss South Carolina. Workshop weekend here at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. We're going to speak to last year's Queens here in just a little bit, as well as meet a Miss America winner, indeed. Stay with us at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. Tyler Ryan. So guys, this morning we are continuing on as 121 preliminary title holders all looking to wear the Miss South Carolina crown gather for what's called Workshop Weekend where they get to meet vendors, they get some, some coaching and last minute help as the last push goes on to get that crown of Miss South Carolina. Here's you to somebody who's done the same thing but not quite in South Carolina, in Indiana. You were Miss South, uh, Miss Indiana. That's right. Let me get this right. Katie Stam hyphen Irk. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> now, not only were you Miss Indiana, you went on to become Miss America 2009. Right. Yes. Good gosh, what was that like, that that moment when you're up on the big stage and you're in Las Vegas and, and they say, <laughs> Katie Stam. You know, it's funny, a lot of people say, what was going through your mind when they called your name? And right. I always respond with the same answer, I have no idea, because I'm pretty sure I just blacked out for a few <laughs> sure. minutes. So sure. it's it's something you work towards your entire life, and then when it actually happens for you, it, you just can't believe it. It's a very surreal right. moment. I still have to pinch myself every once in a while that it did happen. So, right. Yeah. But yeah I, I always joke with my husband. He's still trying to figure out the whole pageantry world and everything. <laughs> yeah. Obviously very familiar with the Indiana system. And sure. so when I tell him I'm coming to South Carolina, that's a big deal. Like, this is a big pageant state. You we know, do like pretty girls in the South, I'm not going to lie. I tell you what, the hair is a lot poofier, so. <laughs> Crowns are shiny, it's all Crowns good stuff. Crowns are shiny, yes, no, it's, it's so much fun. So, sure. a uh, much different program, but still the same idea.
here's the thing. All these girls who are going to be here, who are here, they are beautiful. There's right. no denying that. But this is not a beauty pageant. It's sure. the beauty of your spirit. And I know that sounds cliche. It might sound cheesy. But it's the truth. Uh, there's so much reality behind that because this job is all about the service element. It's all about the educational element. It's all about being able to give back to your community. But I'm here to tell you that it's not about preparing for a competition. It's about preparing for a job. Sure. So it doesn't matter, you know, how many times you see your vocal coach if you're a singer. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you get to the gym for the fitness portion of competition. None of that matters. What matters is who are you as an individual? Are you sure. proud of that person? Because once you become a title holder, then you are thrust out into the community and in the public spotlight. You are a role model and you need to make sure that not only you are proud of that individual you are presenting, but every single person that you are representing is proud of you as well. Katie Stim Urk, you were Miss Indiana and of course went on to become Miss America 2009. Miss, my, my queen, my, what do you call my, your <laughs> highness? I'm not sure what to call you. Thank you so much for your time. Ooh. The inspiration you see, you like that? Go and like tell your that. husband that. I met this guy in South Carolina. From now on, that's what he I'm going to be called. calls me your highness. I love it. <laughs> we're going to continue on the road to the crown, the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. It is workshop weekend, getting ready for Miss South Carolina, of course, broadcast throughout the state of South Carolina as well. In Columbia, Tyler Ryan. I've got to say, I don't think I've ever seen a better weather girl, except maybe Lauren Oleski, yes, Lauren, that's true, than Miss Pope Harvard. You came in and did weather one day on the show. Yes, sir, I did. You were like the best weatherman. You're better than Willard Scott, i got to be honest. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Pope Harvard, you were Miss South Carolina Teen 2014. Yes, sir. How awesome was that? It was a pretty incredible experience. I'm so honored to be able to say that I'm part of the Miss South Carolina Teen Sisterhood. Right. Um, the opportunities and the doors that it has opened for me have just been incredible. And the sisterhoods that I've made, it's, it's sure. such an incredible experience. So what have you done? So it's what, been about six, seven? Save me the simple math because I'm not that bright, Hope Harvard. We all know that. <laughs> um, I've been traveling the state, going to local schools, mm -hmm. and speaking on behalf of my platform, Hope helping others with positive encouragement. Did you see what she did there, by the way? Hope, and that's her platform too. That's pretty, what yeah. can we make out of Tyler? I can't think of, um, yeah, all right. Mm. all right, we'll talk about you. Helping others through positive encouragement. encouragement. Yes, I love, sir. It. I love um, it. I talk to the kids, I have a little sayings or um, acronyms for them to remember, like H, lend a helping hand, O, offer thanks, P, have a positive attitude, and E, encourage others. And the little kids, they just eat right. that up, and I'm so excited to see them excited about encouraging sure. others. So what is next for you then? Um, I'm going to college. I was just accepted to Clemson University this awesome. week. So hopefully um, I, that's all my plan to go you're there. You're going to study broadcast journalism? You yes, I am actually. Yeah. So what do you say when, when these, these little girls come up and, and you and of course Laney, Miss South Carolina from last year, I mean, I've watched them all morning long here be at Workshop Weekend and they come up to you and they're like, you're like a rock star. You're like John Bon Jovi. You know, mm -hmm. you're like you guys at the top. It's so humbling to know that you've made a difference in their right. in, um, in their lives and to see them. You know, you just want to make them feel special. Whether it's the girls that I dance with at my dance studio, or sure. princesses that I meet here, or the princesses that I mentored. Have you ever taken the cheese quiz with me? I have. Now, I'm dairy free, so I might not be too great at this cheese quiz. It's gonna be great. 15 seconds. Ask me what the cheese quiz is. Uh, what's the cheese quiz? The cheese quiz, Miss Hope Oh, Harvard. wait, hang on. Why don't you do the cheese quiz? Oh, I see what's going on. Uh-huh. I see. All right, I'm taking quiz, control. Right. Ready? Right, the 15 quiz seconds. Is this. As many cheeses as I can in 15 seconds. All right, tell me when to start. Oh, God. One, two, three. American, Swiss, Monterey Jack, sharp, extra sharp, mild, um, uh, 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 um, Munster, um, <laughs> goat, Gouda, um, Ooh, macaroni and cheese. Good. That was good. Are we at like 15 seconds Yeah, yet? I think so. I got 10, y'all. I think you beat me. You would have beat me. What's up? Well, then you're dairy-free. I guess you wouldn't even know that. That's right. <laughs> Miss Hope Harvard, <laughs> Miss South Carolina Teen 2014. Did I say that right? Yes, sir. All right, and eventually Miss America. She's already going to lay that out there. So you're going to see it here first. And in a few years, we're going to go back and go, you were right. There it is. <laughs> Workshop you. weekend, of course, the road to wearing the Miss South Carolina crown for this year. We're going to see it across the state one more time this year. You can log, in, log on and get details about the program at MissSC.org. It's great stuff. Thank you for your time. And Thank you. Uh, good luck in becoming a broadcast journalist, maybe work with us here. Thank um, you. Soon, right? Thank you. Guys, at Workshop weekend here at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center, I'm Tyler Ryan. So 121 contestants here at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center, all hoping in just a couple of months to hear the phrase, Miss South Carolina is 
Insert name, Blake Laney Hudson. That's right. Hi. Hi, hey, good to see you, girl. Good to see you. You've gotten taller over the past year or so. <laughs> I'm just, maybe I've gotten short. I'm not sure which. So you're Miss South Carolina 2014. That's right. How fast has this year gone by? I can't believe that it's already workshop weekend again and we're coming up just a couple of months away from the big show. I can't either. This past year really has flown. I right. feel like we were just um, speaking after I was crowned <laughs> last did. June, but it's been so much fun and I'm sure. exciting um, to get to meet our contestants who will then be crowned Miss South Carolina 2015. So the message we always talk about when it comes to Miss South Carolina in this particular system is it's more than being beautiful, which you're stunning, obviously. Thank you. But there's a lot more that goes into it. You know, the, the Children's Miracle Network, the service to community, and the big thing I think is great is the education. In fact, this year, Ashley Bird told me $150,000 this year alone for the, the 15 title holder. Yeah. That's a lot of money to be spread around throughout these girls. Absolutely. It gives the young ladies an opportunity to go back to school, which I'm right. so fortunate for as I've graduated from Clemson University and want to go back to pursue my master's degree. That's so great. thanks to Miss America Organization and Miss South Carolina, I have the opportunity to, to do that. What is your master's going to be in? I'm not sure yet. I'd like to possibly get an MBA. Broadcast journalism, just throwing that Broadcast out there. Broadcast journalism, uh, possibly. You could be doing this next year I may year take for your us. job. Uh, you can have it. Thank you. I wake up at 2 in the morning. You're welcome to <laughs> any day of the week you want to, Miss Lainey Hudson, Miss South Carolina 2014. Do you have that in your business card? Miss Lainey Hudson, Miss South Carolina. I do. I do have business cards. Do you make your mom and dad call you Miss South Carolina? I do not. I totally My sister would, do that. would laugh. I totally would do that. The night you got crowned, did you wear it to bed? <laughs> I did wear it to bed the night I was crowned. Do it. I did. What are you going to do on day 366 when you wake up and you're like, mm. oh, it's, it's, it's on the shelf. I don't know. That's going to be a hard, <laughs> it's going to be a hard transition, but I'm starting to try to figure out what is next and see what my next point step after Miss South Carolina is. Piece of advice for young ladies, not necessarily here at Workshop Weekend, but the rest of the state, we're going to see this across the state for somebody maybe who next year wants to get in, win a preliminary and say, you know what, I would love to be in that system and, and be a part of this. One piece of advice. One piece of advice, I would say, it would be to challenge yourself every day. If you have a goal, work at it every day. Do something different every day that's going to help you accomplish your goal, and then I feel like you'll be successful. But it takes working every day sure. to be go. successful. I'm going to wear high heels next time I talk to you, Miss hey. Lady Hudson, Miss South Carolina 2014. See what Thank we did there? Thank you, yes. It is workshop weekend, of course, getting ready for Miss South Carolina 2015, seen right here across the state as we get to bring it back to TV again. A whole lot of fun. We're getting ready here to continue on. We're going to meet some of the folks who put Miss South Carolina together and understand the motivation why all these people come in and volunteer for this great system. We're at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. I'm Tyler Ryan. Well, guys, we are taking a break from Workshop Weekend, which, as it turns out, is a whole lot of work because it's more than just wearing a crown and being pretty when you're involved in the Miss South Carolina system. We've met some title holders. We've met the current title holders as well. But up next is time to say hi to the folks who put this pageant together every single year. Chaz and Aaron and Ashley, you guys really are kind of the backbone of Miss South Carolina. Yeah, we have great volunteers throughout the state of South Carolina and a great board, and we're happy to be in Columbia for the fifth year. Right. It's our fifth year, and this is the 79th Miss South Carolina will be crowning this summer. years. The system has grown so much, and it's become such a great uh, great inspiration for young girls as well. Is was $150,000 in scholarships you guys are doing this year? Over, Over that. Over and, They made and, more money today. Um, $25 million. Right at $25 million in in-kind scholarships we make available to our contestants in Miss South Carolina. And I think it's really important to say that that money goes directly to their colleges, universities, right. and we also help pay off student loans. What is Workshop Weekend? Yeah, so Workshop Weekend is a place where the culmination of all the contestants take place. They're crowned throughout the state, throughout the year. We start in July mm -hmm. for the coming year, and these girls have been crowned. And they come together to find out what's going to happen this summer, the workload that they have, and the different activities that they'll take place throughout the next five months. Wait a second. Now, Aaron, answer this question for him if you would. Workload? What do you mean workload? Don't, try, don't I have to just be pretty? Yeah, you would think. Um, that helps. <laughs> it definitely helps. But uh, what's so important is that uh, it's not just that competition that happens in Columbia in right. June. These girls are working tirelessly throughout the year, um, doing community service, raising money for the Children's Miracle Network, which we are so proud of. That is our national philanthropy through the Miss America organization. Mm -hmm. And here in South Carolina, we are the, the number one um, fundraisers throughout the whole country. South and Carolina South is. South Carolina is. That is and, awesome. and that money, yeah, three years in a row. We <laughs> have won like, that not award. just one time, right. you see all Three know. years. <laughs> um, and that money goes to our local children's hospitals. 
All right, Chaz, so the the, uh, the preliminary winners are already here. Somebody's going to be crowned Miss South Carolina here in June in, in Columbia. But for next year's potentials, they're watching going, man, I want to be in that place. One piece of advice to give girls who want to be sitting at this table a year from now. What well, starts at the local level, and I think that the one thing is we have a, an amazing group of volunteers that are behind us. And it starts with, you know, reaching out to our we have a website that gives all the dates of the local pageants because right. it starts there and then it culminates here and then after Miss South Carolina we're headed to Miss America but I think that the, you know the production that they will see will, will get them excited and all the information is on our website too. There you so. go. And that website miss-sc.org the links for you watch.com as well. Chaz and Aaron and Ash the organizers of Miss South Carolina pageant happening here in June but workshop weekend is, is where they all come together for the first time. We've been talking about that all morning long. I appreciate what you guys do for the community and beyond and for uh, for these young ladies who all competed. It's great stuff. Guys stay with us. We are coming back to the Colonial Metropolitan Convention Center. Tyler Ryan.